everyone. So today I'm, we are going to talk about what we do at the Life Science Department. One of the main goals of the Life Science Department is personalized medicine. But what does personalized medicine mean? And why is it so important? So personalized medicine is about tailoring a treatment as individualized as the disease. In contrast to traditional medicine, personalized medicine aims to achieve the highest number of happy, healthy patients by understanding the unique genomic portfolio. So within the field of personalized medicine, there are different areas of interest. Mine is, pers is genomic cancer immunogenomics. Uh, here I'll show you a video to give you a taste of what cancer immunity is. So we have a malignant mass of uh, cancer cells growing in some part of the organism. Besides, we have uh, cells from the immune system which are continuously checking the tissues. These cells can recognize molecular signatures on the surface of other cells, such cancer cells. When this happens, an immunological reaction may be triggered. And then, well, as you can imagine, the, the immune system was totally success because it destroyed the cancer completely. <laughs> so when we combine this uh, power of immune system destroying cancer cells plus, uh, plus the, the genomic individual information, we obtain cancer immunogenomics, or in other words, precision oncology. Uh, so, but why precision uh, oncology or, or personalized medicine is not a reality yet? This is due to the uh, great diversity existing among the patients. Uh, for example, it won't be the same to treat an old person than a young one. There are other factors that make us different, such race, living habits, genders. One of my research goals is to focus on the sex uh, differences of the patients in cancer disease. It is a reality that men and women are different. So there are recent studies showing that sexual dimorphism exists in, for example, drug metabolism, drug toxicity, tumor biology, and drug response. So despite these facts, in more than 60% of the scientific studies, gender is not reported. And when it is, male gender is usually the, the gender of reference of the gold standard. So in order to do precision medicine, we have to take care of these sex differences because it will benefit not only men and women, it will benefit both. In relation with what Victoria explained, then the representation of women in science is a global phenomenon. Could you know how many... Sorry. Do you know how many women have won the Nobel Prize? Or could you mention five influential women researchers? Recently, Nature has published a study that points out the gender bias in scientific area. The scientific evidence showed that women are in disadvantage in funding, visibility, publication, recognition of their work compared to men. United Nations uh, report that only 28% of the worldwide researchers are women. And to answer the first question, only 21 women have won the Nobel Prize in science. So, in Spain, the women represent 39% of the scientific community. But, in fact, only 5% have become principal investigators. Such huge inequalities do not happen without any reason. Therefore, institutions, governments are committed to, uh, to, um, to achieve the gender equality. In this, sense, in this sense, the Barcelona Supercomputing Center is working on making visible the women work in science, and in, from the life science department, we have organized the BioInfo for Women program to exchange knowledge and make visible their work of women uh, bioinformatic researchers. During this year, 
the Bioinfo for Women program has organized 10 scientific uh, conferences with international and national uh, researchers to connect and, 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 and make different um, networks. Also, the program uh, has uh, participated in the GSTEM sonar uh, to, with a workshop uh, to bring up the girl interested in science and has uh, made three ag research agreements uh, to, to support the beginning of the career of bioinformatic girl, uh, women. And right now, uh, we are planning to one activity for the, the uh, International Women's Day in the Biennale of Science in Barcelona. And uh, it's important to highlight that, that right now we are organizing a congress advances in computational biology to foster a new collaboration and to make visible the work of women in science. So, to sum up, uh, make visible the work of women and improving uh, the women's work is in our responsibility because this is important for science and for society. So, thank you so much. <laughs>